Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial where we look at all the latest and greatest things that Logic has to offer and try to tackle some of the different things to help you be better at producing your own music. And today I want to talk about the Flex Pitch Tool. Now, I had greatly underestimated the power of this tool for a long time. So I want to kind of take a little bit of a deep dive into this uh, so you get a better understanding of what all you can do with some recorded audio using the Flex Pitch Tool. So Flex Tools are all going to be located here in this little DNA strand looking thing. So if you click on that, then it's going to pull up, uh, much like your automation does, some new uh, options in your track header here and to turn on the flex tool track for this you can go boom and hit that and then we are specifically going to look at this top category here today called flex pitch now before we change anything and we'll turn that off and this is just a recording of me singing happy birthday to YouTube happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear YouTube. Happy birthday to you. I guess it really more sounds like I said you too than YouTube, but you know, it is what it is. Your singers are never going to have that perfect idea. So I'm just going to double click on that, or you can use your scissors here to bring up your editing tool. Again, I'm going to turn on my flex tool and I'm choosing flex pitch, which turns it on down here. Now, what you notice is that when you're on the flex pitch tool down here, you actually see your MIDI keyboard overlay. And if I scroll down, since I'm a relatively low singer, I'm down here in the C, uh, low C category. I tried to essentially sing this song in um, the key of F major. And so it the computer has estimated for me where it thinks all of this lies. And in order to uh, get a little bit closer off the bat, I'm going to take and use my command key, hit command A, and this will work as long as you see the blue uh, outline around this edit window. That's going to select all the keys. And then I'm going to come down here to scale quantize. I'm choosing F major and hitting quantize. And that moved all the notes into a relative lock to the key of F major. Now, you'll notice that they're not all perfectly centered. Well, this is the result that I have now compared to the beginning. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear you too. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so if I want them to be all completely centered pitches, well, one, if you just want a single pitch to be centered, it says right now that this note is actually 43 cents flat. Yikes, I'm terrible. So if I hold this middle dot and drag up, you can hear the difference that that one pitch is now locked in to where the actual pitch is. So if I play just the beginning. Happy birthday to you. Oh, man. What is this? This should actually be two notes. To you. To you. So to get rid of that, I'm going to come in here with my scissor tool. And now to get my scissor tool, I got to go command. So I got to find out where. To you. So right there where the word you starts, I'm going to get in and clip that. Oh, now there's two different notes there. So, nope, I don't want to change my broad bar. Top center. Mm -hmm. 
So now I have those two notes centered on pitch. Now, what if you want to do that quickly to all? Again, that's Command A, select all, right click, and set to perfect pitch. Boom. Now all of my notes are set to be exactly centered. So what is this doing? This is essentially just auto-tuned my entire uh, performance. So now let's go back and listen to that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear you too. Happy birthday to you. And it's allowed me to have some little uh, moments where I slide into those pitches just a little bit. And that's totally okay. Um, so I can go back now. And there are a few other things you might want to note. Like pitch drift. I can allow myself to have a little bit more or a little bit less slide and fall on that. So let's look at some negative pitch drift. Happy birthday to you. Ooh, that was weird. Especially drifting down when the next note's up. So now I can actually give myself a little glide. Happy birthday to you. It gave me just a little bit of that up at the end. So I can do a lot here with my uh, pitch drift. And you can do pitch drift on the front end of the note. You can do pitch drift on the back end of the note. Since this is a little slide in, I could do some down drift there, and then uh, if I zoom in more, I can see uh, up drift on the note in front of it. So, happy birthday to you. That was actually so much, it got almost a, a waiver there, so I'm going to undo those two things. Um, now, the bottom, this is kind of interesting. I can take away my vibrato, so I can actually reduce my vibrato to zero. I'm just going to do this for all these notes uh, right quick. Reduce my vibrato to zero, round about, which requires that I go back and do that one because I've already done it. So here we go. Happy birthday to you. So that even begins to sound more radically auto-tuned. Uh, getting almost to that T-Pain effect right there uh, if you take away all the vibrato. So that's just the natural quiver in my voice can be removed. And then um, from the front edge, you can actually turn up the gain of just that word or syllable. So, for instance, if I wanted uh, two to be a little more aggressive, then I could gain up that. And you see it happening here in the waveform now gaining up that and we'll make it super obvious hopefully this doesn't spike out too bad happy birthday to you yeah that's a little weird sounding but you might have dropped a syllable just a little bit in volume and you want to control for that um let's see if i can go over to here happy birthday to you happy birthday dear youtube maybe i lost that b just a little bit so i can go in here and gain this up just a little bit See if that you too happy still didn't get it. I should have just sung it better. So um, you can get in there and do all sorts of things with that. And not the least of which is if I now go in and I will turn my quantizing off for just a moment. Now that I've fixed all the pitches, it won't change anything. We'll select all. I can now just drag these up and change the pitch of the whole thing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear you too. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so the further you go from the original pitch, the harder it is going to be for the computer to keep it natural sounding. But if you just need to take a pitch up a step or two, you can make it go up a step or two. Um, and all of that is really cool. So I'm going to drop it back down to my original pitch. And you can see here that this is just full of different functionality. 
and um, just a lot of really, really, really cool stuff. Another thing um, that you can do here uh, that it's been flex pitched and you've finished it is you can extract the MIDI data, um, which is really cool because now I have a MIDI version of exactly what I did or pretty close. Now that is really soft on the velocity, so we'll go in and give it some velocity. So it's got all the little scoops and stuff in there. You could go back in and remove some scoops. Or if you're trying to figure out a melody that someone sang, this is a way you could go in and analyze that melody that someone sang. So the flex pitch tool, super cool, super useful. Um, for getting a natural sounding melody without having to buy some expensive software like Melodyne or uh, some of those things. Yeah, Melodyne may work a little better, but if you don't want to drop the big money on it, then you can use the Flex Pitch tool and do a lot of really, really, really fun things. Um, even when you then go to change the tempo, it will actually keep the pitch Happy birthday to you. And it'll keep a pitch, but have the song be slower. So all of these things, super cool um, using this flex tool function when you're ready to hide it. Uh, just make sure you don't turn off this one because that'll undo everything you did. Just boom, do that. Uh, or if you don't want to make any further mistakes, um, you can always go in and bounce that in place so that it's a whole new file. Now that new file is being sung at 60 beats a minute instead of 120 in relation to what we were doing and has all the flex pitch fixes done to it. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Enjoy getting in and using your flex pitch tool. Y'all have a great day.